Hi, my name is Colin Sanders. I'm Benjamin Martin. We are both juniors at Care Parable Latin School. And we'll be performing Sherlock by Joe Moses. Enjoy. Sherlock! Sherlock! Sherlock Holmes! Here, Dr. Watson, I'm tied up behind you and we're both sitting atop a thermal nuclear bomb. <laughs> that man in the mask. He ambushed us. How long have I been out? About an hour. <laughs> Tied together on top of a bomb. Quite the predicament to an artist. Hush, Watson, I'm thinking. Your mediocrity is making it difficult to concentrate. <laughs> I have been quiet for the past hour. No, you haven't. No, I... Yes, I have. I've been knocked out. Yes, you've been dreaming so loudly, I can hardly see myself think. Now, will you be quiet? <laughs> I am being quiet. No, I mean, really, be quiet. We have to think. John, you and I were both led here at gunpoint by a man in a mask. But what else was he wearing? And more importantly, what wasn't he wearing? Oh, I don't know. A coat? <sighs> Come on, Watson, think. Gloves. Precisely. One man hiding behind a mask wouldn't take the simple precaution of hiding his fingerprints. He wants to be caught. Well, that could be a plethora. And he was holding his gun in his right hand. And awkwardly, but why? Because he's left-handed. <laughs> and judging by the ink splotch on the bottom of his right hand, I'd say he was, he's recently been writing. And judging by the minimal amount of ink, by the fact that he most likely has no friends, probably ransom notes. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Elementary. Quite. But, Sherlock, how do we know this isn't just some terrorist? Oh, could be, but it's not. Take another look at this smudge. Notice one area is darker than the rest. To the untrained eye, what could be? Perhaps the letter W? But when you remove stupidity, it's clearly an upside-down M as in Mango or Moriarty. <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> but, Sherlock, what are we going to do about this bomb? I mean, you're the greatest detective in the world. The first high-functioning, sociopathic, consultant detective. I'm sure you've thought of something. Yes. You've got it then? No. Then you say yes! Yes, I've thought of something, John. I am the world's greatest detective. I've thought of something. 375,697 things, to be precise. But none of them are going to help us in this very instant. Well, brilliant. Yes, I am. <laughs> Moriarty doesn't want to kill us, so obviously he would have left us a way to escape and defuse the bomb. John, reach in your left pocket. My left pocket? Yes, I saw him slip something in there before I knocked us both out. Now, will you please focus? All right, all right. <laughs> it's a slip of paper. What does it say? It's right in the palm of your hand and always under your skin. John? Yes, dear? Do you trust me? With everything I've got. Mm -hmm. What? I'm deciding on whether or not that's enough. It'll have to be. <laughs> John, can you reach my right pocket from where you are? Yes, I think so. Reach into my right pocket and pull out my knife. <laughs> All right. All right. Have you got it? Yes. Yes, uh, I'm cutting a string. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's taking so long? It's very thick rope. <laughs> the fate of the entirety of London hinges upon whether or not you can cut through this rope. <laughs> now, if you could please go! <laughs> oh, well, brilliant. Yes, you are. While well, you've been putting on this perfectly spectacular spectacle, I've managed to calculate due to the magnitude of the bomb that it will approximately wipe out 7.6 million people from the Earth. Now, if you could please cut me loose. Okay. Here's the bomb. The compact code is six digits long. Any ideas? Eight so far. Moriarty said it was under my skin and always in the palm of my hand. What's always under my skin, John? Uh, veins, tissue, bones, muscles, red blood cells. John, must you always be in my way? That's it. It's what's right under my skin, always under my skin. And what's right under my skin, John? You! <laughs> <laughs> what? What about me? Oh, John, here we've been unconscious for about an hour and we could have done anything. Must be on you somewhere. Nothing. Well, I wouldn't say nothing. <laughs> That's it. It's not on you, John. It's in you. Shut up! <laughs> I mean, it's in you. It's, it is you. It's something about yourself, Watson. Your birthday, perhaps. July 17th, 1971. In numeric fashion, that's 0707198. It is far too many. Your name on your hand is another 12119. Maybe we should just call the police. Oh, don't be just a fool, you idiot. Nobody. Wait, give me your phone. Ah! What are you doing? That's the wrong code! You're gonna blow us all away! <laughs> well, brilliant. Yes, it is. So? 
Under my skin, John. Could be anything, but always under my skin. What's always with me and under my skin? You, John. But your name is number is far too long. In the palm of my hand is my cell phone. Your name is numbers on the keypad. 92876. It's so simple, it's elementary. Quite. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>